To update your profile, click the profile icon. Here's where you can make changes to what you provided when you registered for the event. Things like your headshot, headline, job title, etc. you're able to update here. And then clicking on change networking preferences, you'll be able to go through the onboarding prompts that you reviewed when you first logged in. If you do change anything, make sure you go through all of them to save your changes. You're also able to change your contact detail sharing preferences and add in a phone number if you wish. Make sure you click save changes. When it comes to networking on the app, there are three main approaches you can take. Use the platform's AI to your advantage by sorting through your recommendations. You'll most likely see those on either the homepage or on the navigation in the more tab. On this particular homepage, you can find those in recommendations here. Please note the terminology in your event may be slightly different. The AI engine uses your profile information as well as platform actions to suggest users you may be interested in. These recommendations usually come in a batches of 10 and you'll notice you'll be able to take some actions on these. You can show interest in a user. Doing this will notify that user that you are wanting to connect. If they show interest back, you have formed a connection and are able to chat with them on the platform. If this is the first time you're taking this action, you'll be prompted with a pop-up just letting you know a little bit more about this action and asking you to confirm. Next, you can request a meeting with the user. You'll be able to choose a date, a time, and a location that you're wanting to meet. You're also able to add in a message as well. And lastly, you're able to skip on a user if they don't interest you. Don't worry, this user isn't notified that you've skipped and you can always unskip at a later date. Again, the first time you do this action, a pop-up will appear confirming that you want to skip or you can go ahead and cancel. All three of these actions help the AI engine continue to learn your likes and your dislikes. If you know exactly who you're looking for, you're able to search for them on the top search bar of the platform. Lastly, if you want to scroll and filter to find people, companies, or items, look for any list on the homepage or in the more tab. This can be something like an exhibitor list, an attendee list, or something of that matter. On this page, it is an exhibitor list. As you can see here, this pulls up a list at the top. You're able to filter by a couple different items. In this event, there is an exhibitor list. From here, you can use the filters at the top to drill down and get a bit more granular about who or what you're looking for. Some other networking items that may be useful are the interested in you, my interested, and my skip list that will always live in this more tab here. In your event, the terminology may be different on the homepage for these, so again, look for anything that has a similar meeting or just go straight to the more page. Interested in you are the users who have shown interest in you, but you haven't shown interest back. So it's a good way to go through all of these to make sure that you're connecting with those people that want to connect with you and that you're interested in as well. My interested list are all the users you have shown interest in, but they haven't shown interest back. So it just gives you a good idea of who you have liked and shown interest at the event. And lastly, my skip list are all users that you may have skipped. Like I mentioned before, the users won't be notified that you have skipped them. You can always click into their profile and unskip them as well by clicking on the skipped here. To check out all of the meetings that you have, whether they're pending or confirmed, there's a couple different places that you can do that. First, you have this pending meeting block here. If you click on that, that will show all of the meetings that haven't been fully accepted by either you or another party. So make sure you go through those and you have accepted the ones that you want and you decline the ones that you don't want. Next, you also have a confirmed meetings button. If you click on that, that will show you all of your confirmed meetings for the event there. Lastly, at the bottom, if you click schedule, this will show you your full schedule. So all confirmed meetings, all pending meetings, as well as any sessions that you might have added to your schedule. This gives you a full view of what your event days will look like and you're able to continue planning from there. You can find everything that's happening at the event by clicking on the event agenda item here. When you're looking at the agenda of sessions, you can use the filters at the top or the search to start building your personal schedule. You can pop into a session and you can see some additional information and you can go ahead and add that session to your schedule here. You can also use the calendar icon on the event agenda page to add sessions to your personal schedule.